And we're joined once again by our political correspondent, David McCullough. David, another poll tonight. What are the details of this one? Well, Eileen, this uh, Ipsos MRBI poll was conducted for tomorrow's Irish Times on Thursday and Friday. 1,000 voters covering every constituency in the country. Uh, there were 19% undecided, which is down uh, 3% since the last Irish Times poll, which was published on the 3rd of February, just as the campaign was getting underway. And since then, uh, it shows that support for Fianna Fáil has gone up one point to 16 percent while Fine Gael has gained four to 37. The poll also confirms Labour's decline during the campaign down five points to 19. The Greens are up one to do, Sinn Féin down one to 11 and Independence and others are unchanged at 15 percent. Now looking at the party leaders, satisfaction with Micheál Martin is up four to 29 percent and Kenny gains seven to 37. Eamon Gilmore drops 4 to 40%. That's still the highest rating, but he's now only just ahead of Enda Kenny. John Gormley gains 4 to 19%, the lowest rating, while Gerry Adams gains 2 to 29%. Now, if you compare this poll to the two that were published in this morning's Sunday papers by Red Sea and uh, uh, Millward Brown Lansdowne, there's a remarkable level of consistency. The variations are within the margin of error. Fine Gael between 37 and 39%, Labour between 17 and 20 Fianna Fáil at 16% in all three of the polls, Sinn Féin 11 or 12 the Greens one or two and Independence and others 14 or 15. So the remarkably consistent picture shown uh, just at the end of last week with uh, less than a week to go to polling. Now of course the candidates will say there's only one poll that counts but if these figures were to carry through to next Friday what's then to be determined? Well we know some things for certain. It looks certain that Enda Kenny will be Taoiseach. Uh, it looks certain that Sinn Féin will make gains although it's not clear how many. It looks certain that there'll be a substantial block of independents and smaller parties in the next all although we don't know what flavour they are whether they're left wing or right wing or constituency oriented or whatever. What still remains to be decided is whether Fine Gael can uh, enter government on its own or with the support of a couple of independents. To do that it needs to be up around 41, 42 percent come polling day. It's still possible but they've got a, a, a way to go. The other intriguing question is whether given Labour's slide, if that continues, can Fianna Fáil overtake Labour to come in second and Fianna Fáil would dearly love to do that at this stage. Um, still not clear. There is still a lot of public anger out there directed towards Fianna Fáil. Dave McCollum, thank you.